So my name is uh, Grace Osic. I'm a associate professor in the IOM department, and I'm here with three of our students who agreed to talk a little bit about their experiences with IOM electives. So can you guys introduce yourselves? Sure. <laughs> I'm Aaron Lett. Um, I'm a second year student currently, and I've taken uh, operations service management and uh, the second semester of operations, as well as uh, currently I'm taking a stat class and operation consulting. My name is Adam Hoffman. I'm also a second year student here. Uh, I bring a unique, though I've only taken operations consulting, I bring a unique perspective in that I'm more interested in marketing but see the value in also taking operation courses. Hi, I'm Sento. I'm a second year student as well. I've taken uh, operation consulting the last semester and uh, spreadsheet based business modeling. This semester, I'm taking supply chain management and uh, statistics. So can you guys uh, tell us a little bit uh, about the classes that you took so that uh, we learn a little bit more about your experiences? The first class that I took was, uh, was the second part of the regular operations class that we have here at Marshall. And in that, we learned how to do optimization functions using Solver, as well as we, we went over some interesting ethical issues within operations. Uh, the second class that I took was operations service management or also known as service management of operations. And in that class, it was actually very good in the sense that we got to go through a lot of the different pieces that in are included in business and put them together from an operations perspective. So for instance, we talked a lot about marketing. We talked a lot about, um, a lot about um, finance. And we brought all those pieces together while looking at it from an operations viewpoint. Uh, and then currently I'm taking a statistics class, which is an advanced statistics class taught by Professor James, um, that is very technical actually, and uh, we go through a lot of advanced statistical methods. And then finally I'm currently taking operations consulting, which I think the real crux of that, uh, of that is, is the operations project that we'll be doing, where we actually go out into the real world and solve problems from an operations consulting perspective. So what company are you uh, working on? I'll be working on USC Healthcare. Uh, my name is Adam Hoffman. Once again, I took the operations consulting course, which was a great opportunity to learn about different operation principles, uh, Six Sigma, lean manufacturing. Uh, but the best part of it, as Aaron was describing, was the project where we actually got to work with a company. The, the best part of that wasn't only being able to apply some of those methods that we had learned, but in addition to that, learning how to work with a client, manage expectations, and really manage a client. That was some, a major takeaway, which I'll be able to use in any field I go into. Can you name some of the companies that you guys were working with uh, in the class? Toyota, big companies such as Toyota and Amgen, and Nestle. We also worked with uh, USC Healthcare um, and Cover King. Thank you. So you've heard uh, quite a bit about ops consulting. I took that course last semester. For, my, for me, I would say the breadth of cases that you go across in that, uh, in that course was really uh, very beneficial. For people who are looking at consulting or operations as such, that gives a good idea of how it, what operations is and uh, what kind of projects or what kind of what job role you can look into operations. And with the hands-on experience with doing this project actually enhances that experience. On top of it, I want to talk about spreadsheet-based business modeling in that we, we do use a lot of statistical tools to make sure that we make the right decisions with whatever information that we have. And over the summer, I was able to use a lot and in real life example and see how it impacts for the senior level executives. So I would say they are looking at more uh, from a statistic-based decision making rather than like you know the old traditional way of decision making so there's actually courses and electives whatever we've learned over this sem semester actually helped helped us in our summer so can, can I add one thing to the operations consulting class um, I was a operations consultant for five years before uh, taking the class and in the class you actually learn a lot of important tools such as advanced spreadsheet analysis and um, how to interact in a consulting environment with the client and with your peers. So I think it's really good that somebody takes that type of a class just so that they can see what it's like to be a guest in somebody's office, if you will, just as a consultant. 
going back, you mentioned that you took spreadsheet class. And yeah. uh, uh, what kind of models were you looking at in the spreadsheet class? So we did uh, risk analysis, data analysis, and uh, resource allocation as well. And uh, a lot of in, a lot of problems revolving around finance and investment-related decision making. So looking at the market, or if this is a kind of funding that you want to do, okay, you know, those kind of issues. So it was pretty helpful to look at uh, how how much significance. Uh, the information, the data information that you have can make in your decision making. So you would uh, think that this kind of class can be useful for people outside OM as well? It definitely is because any any industry, I mean um, any industry for that matter, you have their own analysis. So right now analytics is not dif separate from uh, senior level people. Like they need to know what how, how to make decisions, how to make an analysis based on whatever information they have. So if you're looking at marketing, they need to do market analytics and find out, okay, does this really make sense to launch a product? If you're, like, if you're at finance and probably want to know, is this investment really justifies my decision for, my, for the next quarter or the next year? So I think it, it is applicable across the board. It's just not with operations. So uh, did you find, uh, I mean, you heard a little bit about, you mentioned that you found that uh, the class can be useful for everybody uh, looking at uh, consulting positions. So did you find that the classes you took helped uh, in uh, finding internship, uh, finding uh, jobs? I interned at Ernst Young in the supply chain practice group this summer. So it was, I, mean, I had a pretty good kind of background in operations, but in the interviews they were looking at more from a business perspective, what did you understand over, uh, what do you really understand in operations? So from the course like ops consulting, from the breadth of, breadth of discussion, I was able to handle different cases. Even it surprised me in my interviews, like I've never gone through these cases, but the kind of uh, uh, discussions that we had in the class really helped me. And when we bring it to that a point, the recruiter's point that we were involved in projects during our courses tells us tells them actually how much interest and involvement we've got in operations. So from that perspective, I was able to really show, demonstrate that I've already done this and I know the skill set what you're looking for. So that really helped me to get through inter inter interviews and internships for my internship. And at work, at summer, uh, very specifically, I was able to apply concepts which I learned in course because this is uh, really a huge benefit that everyone would want to look at because you learn something and academics has always been different from real, real world. People look at it that way, that way, but in reality, it wasn't like that. I was able to apply concepts and things which I learned in classes, like spreadsheets, stats, and the stats what we learned in first semester. Everything was just stink in, and I was able to advance in uh, the same concept, like you know, read a lot of white papers and advance with whatever basics that was provided in the class. And uh, it ended well, and finally, my work was selected for one of the uh, EY's Insight papers. So, pretty happy with that. Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, this summer I worked with a Johnson & Johnson subsidiary known as LifeScan. Uh, it was a great opportunity. I was in a marketing function over the summer, but there were many opportunities for me to leverage the skills I had developed in the operations courses. Uh, doing project management, figuring out how to do a, fl a project management flow, figuring out making sure there wasn't duplication of labor going on. Uh, leveraging decision trees and other tools that I had learned in the courses. So most of these concepts are very applicable across the range of functions. Uh, I was interning at PricewaterhouseCoopers this summer and there isn't really a class aside from operations consulting that really says you know how do you answer the question when a client comes to you and says have you done this before? You know how do you answer that without having actually been asked that in a, in a educational setting before? Um, so operations consulting has really prepared me for that. Um, aside from that, service management of service operations has prepared me uh, to do things from a more managerial, managerial level. Um, for instance, when you have a group of employees and you're trying to optimize how to spend their hours throughout a week, how do you do that? Well, you can use Excel and you can do all these fancy tools um, that we go over uh, in that to really help maximize uh, your employees' time. Additionally, Profit maximization was very useful from the second part of the electives, uh, of the operations elective, uh, simply because optimization I've used, you know, how do you maximize revenue uh, with a whole bunch of different constraints going on and really um, figuring out how to do so. So I think that the operations classes have been really the most applicable for me, um, just from a general approach, um, because it incorporates, you know, it's kind of the, the back end of everything. Operations is how you actually deliver on your promises. 
And so it, you need to take into account all of those other things. You need to take into account marketing, finance, are you going to have the money to do what you're trying to do, and pull all of that together just so that you can deliver what you promised. Did you guys have uh, a lot of background in spreadsheets before taking operations <laughs> class? What level was your knowledge uh, of spreadsheets? <laughs> sure. Um, I had been a consultant before, and so I had done a lot of spreadsheet work, but not really a lot of the advanced techniques like Solver that we're using um, and a lot of the commands uh, that, that you learn in these classes. But I actually didn't have a lot of, I mean, in terms of for operations you need a uh, special skill set. I mean, it should be com very uh, e easy on hands to do a uh, spreadsheet based of work because operations are all about that. So. But I didn't have a lot of background in uh, Excel as such before P school, but spreadsheet really gave me a heads up on what is it like. And then over the summer, using that as a platform, I was able to build on top of it. Like within a couple of weeks, I was able to, I was kind of mastering macros and almost all the Excel functions. And so I was, uh, my goal was to get a business model, a mathematical stochastic model for one of my clients. So at the end of the project, I had to deliver that proof of concept and it went well. So <laughs> that's pretty much it. When I started, I knew a spreadsheet had boxes on the screen <laughs> and that you could do addition and subtraction with it. Uh, when I ended, I, I, because I was coming from such a rudimentary level, I, I leveraged some of the Excel workshops offered to, to Marshall students to get up to speed for the class. But by taking courses, I was able to learn uh, the lookups, uh, just general functionality of what, data, what they can do as well as things like crystal ball and solver that really a regression analysis great great tools that will allow you to accomplish so much and really add value and eliminate risk within a business setting and uh, i just want to add one more like we had industry night uh, at campus and there was like really 195 students showing up for 28 different tables so we had to do linear optimization for that and then we use that program as well <laughs> and then a lot of i um, mean because once you get the results then you need to do excel functions to figure that out so it really helped out so we don't previously used to spend like four days three people sitting throughout and then figuring it out now it's like pretty easy task right now so <laughs> and it's really good for fancy sports teams <laughs> <laughs> Remember that you prefer hockey, right? I did. You did your I regression did. analysis on I did. hockey. Optimization <laughs> solver and everything. And uh, in terms of the stats class you guys took, uh, what kind of prerequisites do you think like uh, knowledge uh, level is is needed, is recommended for those classes, stats classes? That's a good question. Um, I'd say having some sort of a um, technical background really helps. I was an engineer in undergrad. Uh, and that really helps, um, being able to just understand the mathematical formulas and everything. But I think that you can go into that class, and it, as long as you're willing to work hard, you can do it with just uh, Professor James' basic stat class. Mm -hmm. so, do you share? Uh, sure. <laughs> um, regarding stats class, the advanced statistical um, model learning method, um, that isn't really advanced stats class. So I would recommend any core-based stats class that would be good enough to start with, you should have some good understanding before you want to take one of these electives. Uh, it's, it's, it's gonna, you're going to invest some more time to learn it. It's not that you can't do it, but you need to learn some more. I mean, spend extra time than you did. it. So. But it's really applicable at work and anywhere outside. So what, uh, what are kind of the, the best takeaways that you had from the electives that you took, in your opinion? <laughs> Yoshi. <laughs> Yoshi. <laughs> or, uh, Hiroshi? Hiroshi, right? Yeah, Hiroshi. Hiroshi. <laughs> For me, it was working on the Amgen uh, consulting project with my team a and being able to laugh together and work together and celebrate with a great uh, party when it was done. Uh, I'm looking over at my colleague who's <laughs> who was on the team with me. Uh, and really, the greatest thing that we learned there was really how to manage expectations. When we went into Amgen, the project and the scope that they gave us would have been for a team of 10 McKinsey consultants working full-time and there wasn't a recognition that we were students with other courses and this was one project in one course that we were taking on top of whatever else we were doing and being able to to learn how to articulate and communicate and facilitate that that balancing act of setting expectations on an area where you can where you can over deliver in the end uh, was a, a great experience 
Yeah, I would, I would agree to all the soft skills that they were talking about. It was really helpful, I mean, because it, uh, first of all, the professors in the courses were designed really well and uh, to really help you to understand what's the objective and what you want to learn out of this course, it met my expectation of ease, so I like that. And uh, besides that, the kind of hard skills that you learn and the kind of insights you have from the professors and the course that prepares you for even a harder and tougher environment outside when you go for work. So. That's, I think that's kind of takeaway for me taking classes from IOM. Thanks. I think for me, uh, in management of service operations, we had uh, a project, and we got to select any project we wanted, and my group selected uh, analyzing the DMV that's right down the street from school. <laughs> <laughs> the one that everybody knows with a really, really long line. Um, so we were actually able to go over there and talk to some people online and figure out what some of the issues were. You know, could it have been done online as opposed to actually coming to the office? Um, and from that, we actually we had a report, but just our presence of being there, they saw that we were there trying to help, and they actually implemented a couple of the things that we had suggested. Um, so it was actually something that we saw the usefulness of right then and there. Okay. Nice. Uh, so why is the line still so long? <laughs> <laughs> it's short. <laughs> it's long, but it's more fun to be in the office. Yes. <laughs> we, we recommend it for TVs. <laughs>